What's up everybody? Welcome to the channel. They call me Peanut Butter and I am back again today with another Escape from Tarkov video. Uh, and today I'm here to talk about something that uh, is an issue for pretty much everybody that starts playing Escape from Tarkov. Um, and that issue is Gear Fear. So uh, Gear Fear is basically the, uh, it's pretty self-explanatory, but it's the fear of losing um, a really good kit uh, and just basically keeping it in your stash and, and never using it because you don't want to lose it, right? So that's a that's a fear that can uh, hold a lot of people back from progressing. It's a fear that can even stop people from playing altogether um, just because they're, they're too scared to lose anything that they have in their inventory. So uh, I'm not here to tell you that I'm an expert. I'm not here to say that I know what I'm talking about. I mean, I'm, I'm very new myself. Uh, you know, I, I don't have very much to, to show in, in terms of credentials. Uh, I just started playing six months ago. I've only got about a thousand hours into the game. So, um, I mean, I'm a very new player, but I figure, you know, I'll let you let you guys in on how I got over my gear fear, and hopefully it'll help um, other people as well. So uh, the first thing that I started doing when I realized that gear fear was kind of keeping me from playing as much as I wanted to is I thought about, you know, what what is actually, you know, causing my gear fear? And honestly, um, it's it's the the idea that the gear that you have that you bring into a raid with you is still yours. Um, so what I started doing is I basically said to myself, any gear that I take with me into a, a raid as my PMC is not mine anymore. Okay, it belongs to Tarkov or whatever, you know, whatever you want to say. It belongs to whatever map you go on to until you leave. Okay, so that's kind of how I started thinking about it to kind of help ease my mind and, and think less about what gear I'm taking in with me um, in terms of not wanting to lose it. Uh, is I would say, you know, this, you know, I need to get rid of this or, you know, this has been sitting here for a while, so I might as well get rid of it. Um, think of it in terms of you're not. You're not taking your gear into the raid. You're taking gear with you into, you know, a raid that, you know, that the gear is no longer yours. I'm kind of trailing off. So I'll go on to the next point that I'm trying to make. Um, so when I started thinking that way, um, it helped me go into raids a lot more. Uh, so I would go into raids, but I would still be struggling in terms of, you know, worrying about, running into people on the map. Um, you know, I didn't know where I was going. I didn't know where to look. Um, you know, everything was just brand new um, and, and I was lost. So, you know, I would start doing offline raids um, on the maps that I wanted to learn. So I'm still doing that and, and I will continue to do that um, every time I don't know an area. So for those of you that don't know how to go into an offline raid, what you do is you go and you select your PMC. Um, you go to the map that you want to go to or that you want to learn um, or that you want to practice on. You select your time just like you would in a normal raid. Um, and then what you want to do is you want to select the box that says enable offline mode for this raid. And you can enable PVE to spawn AI. So you can spawn AI at any difficulty. Um, I usually spawn them as online because I like to practice you know, as they would be if I were to run into them in a normal raid. And then I usually keep this to as online as well if I'm learning the map um, so that I know where the spawn points are on the map for scavs. So uh, if you don't care about learning the spawn points for scavs and you already know them, you can set it to high or horde so that you know, you'll be constantly running into scavs as you go around the map and kind of get your bearings and, and learn landmarks. Um, or you can just spawn them as online. If you know, like I said, if you don't know anything about the map and you want to learn where the scavs could possibly spawn, keep both of these to as online. And uh, scavs will should only spawn uh, in the points where they're supposed to in an online raid. Okay, so go into an offline raid, uh, learn the map, learn your kit that you want to go in with. So that's another thing is um, another thing that causes gear fear is not knowing how to use uh, the gear that you have, right? So you, you need to learn how your gun is going to work, how it's going to kick when, you, when you're in full auto, um, how the sight works. Uh, some guns will fire 
with a lot of recoil, you will kick really high, um, so you'll need to be prepared for it. Some of them, like this PP19, don't have very much recoil at all, um, and instead you need to worry more about how much ammo you're using with it. So you don't want to be just wildly spraying it because it, it sprays its entire clip in about you know less than two seconds. So uh, it's it's all about learning how to effectively use the kit, how far away you should be using your kit, how close you should be using your kit, things like that. Um, so that's all stuff that you can learn in offline mode without having to worry about losing all of your gear in the process, right? Because, um, you know, I was victim, when I first started, uh, I would constantly try to buy these really cool kits, um, spend all my money on the flea market, and just be disappointed when I went in and I died um, because I didn't practice, you know, and it's, it's, it's kind of silly to think about that now because, you know, I would sit there and be frustrated when in all actuality, I never went in and, and learned the map. I never practiced. I never learned how the gun worked. So, I mean, why would I expect to, uh, you know, automatically be able to just slay people with it? So it's, it's practice is important because anybody that you see, uh, any of the big names, you know, Pestily, Clean, uh, anybody, Veritas, Jesse Kazam, all of those people, great, great content creators, amazing, amazing Tarkov players, and they all started right at the beginning, um, same as me and you, just learning the game, not knowing what the fuck was going on, not knowing uh, how certain guns worked, not knowing how certain mechanics worked. Um, so, I mean, they, they also use offline mode. Um, they may not show it, you know, too, too, too often these days because they've learned so much that they don't really need to go into offline, uh, to do much, to do much these days, but, uh, they certainly spent their time in offline as well. So offline mode is your friend. Um, so definitely, definitely go into offline mode. If you don't know a map, if you don't know a kit and you want to learn it, um, use offline mode because you can do it over and over and over again and you can just die over and over and over again to scavs, you will not lose your kit. So uh, that's another really valuable tool that that I hope uh, everybody is using to try to get over their gear fear and try to learn more about the guns that they're using as well. Um, so the, the last thing that you need to do, once you've practiced, once you've kind of given that mindset of all the gear that you're taking in with you, um, you know, it's not really yours anymore once you bring it into a raid, you can start kind of going into live raids and you can hopefully, like me, start to get that feeling of confidence and that feeling of knowing um, how your gun is going to work, knowing how an engagement is going to work, and knowing where to engage somebody from. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. Um, seems like a good stopping point. For those of you that uh, want to see me live, I am live on Twitch uh, Monday through Thursday, 9 a.m., um, usually until noon. Eastern Standard Time, and uh, I'd love to have you come by, say hi. If you like this video, please feel free to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and uh, until next time, guys, stay nutty.